Hi guys, my name is Tori and for those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection vlog and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about, of course, you know what I'm going to talk to you about. The Marvel Comics series has come out with Ozma of Oz, the hardcover. Now I know a lot of you have been buying the individual um, releases. They release these comic books in eight books, um, in individual comics, like in a series. Um, unfortunately, this is a very expensive process because, of course, any collector at the end of the day will want the collectible hardcover. And comic book shops are hard to come by these days. Has anybody noticed that recently? Comic book stores are closing. I guess they're not getting the kind of business that they used to get with places like Barnes & Noble open. But Barnes & Noble doesn't carry the individual comics in most stores. So I've been waiting till all eight come out and then buying the hardcovers. I bought the individual ones for the first one, but then I decided, you know, that was way too expensive. I'm just going to stick with the hardcovers from now on. So here we go. Ozma of Oz, the hardcover. Now, you guys know how I feel about comic books. I love comic books, and especially any comic books that involve this guy, Eric Schenauer, who did the amazing Adventures in Oz series. So he has a lot to do with it. The, the artwork for this particular one is done by Scotty Young, but for this particular series. And what beautiful artwork and original looks to the characters. Um, Ozma of Oz, of course, is the tale in the series that brings Dorothy back to Oz because for those of us who are bomb aficionados, we know that Dorothy is not in the second book. She has nothing to do with it, but we but the readers demanded to see her back and wrote Mr. Bomb so many times, you know, where, whatever happened to Dorothy, that he decided to continue her story as well. And Dorothy gets shipwrecked and ends up in the land of Ev. And through a series of events, ends up reuniting with her friends from Oz and having another grand adventure. But with some great new characters too. And can I just say, I love the character design of Belina. She is just so funny. I laughed out loud at some of her expressions. Let me find one. Because there was one that like literally made me guffaw. Just the way they made her look. She is... There we go. That was the first one. <laughs> that made me just laugh out loud. Dorothy's telling her about her friends from Oz, and she's like, mm hmm, this girl is crazy. Um, and she just, page after page, the Wheelers, original designs, original ways of telling the story. And, you know, these books are so wonderful. And But, you know, the way they're written in the, in the hardcover copies, the way that they're written is really not as accessible, I think, to contemporary children. It's a, They look like big books. Now, of course, anyone who's read these books knows the writing is very large, and there's lots of pictures. But these books look intimidating from the outside, don't they, to a new reader. So I could understand why kids, contemporary children, would be a little bit put off by these. But this format for these stories is so accessible to children. I'm just going to trip over everything. <laughs> My room's a mess. Hot mess. Anyway, so I absolutely adore this series, and it just keeps getting better and better. And what I also love about the hardcovers and, you know, the individual comics, too, is that you get a little taste of what's coming next, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. And as I understand it, the comics are already coming out, I think, but I'm going to wait for the hardcover. And it just looks awesome. I can't wait to read it. And, you know, I was worried when the wonderful Wizard of Oz came out that this wouldn't do well and that they would stop doing it. But it has been fabulous. It's been a huge success. It's won awards. And it's being... I think it was on the bestseller list, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it? Didn't it make the New York Times bestseller list? Ozma of Oz? I think it did. So, you guys, we gotta keep this going. We gotta keep this momentum for Oz pumped up. We have so many projects to look forward to in the coming year. And it's just gonna get better and better for us because these things remain popular. They remain these great American fairy tales. And they do well in this country. And we have to keep up the momentum as fans and let them know that we want more. So, Eric Schanauer, Scotty Young, Kudos to you for keeping the Oz fandom alive. We love these books. Don't stop. Keep them coming. We absolutely adore them. And they are fabulous. I recommend them highly to anybody. Whether you're a comic book collector, whether you're an Oz fan, be that of the books, of the MGM films, either way, you will love it. Go ahead and buy it. It's worth every penny. I believe this cost me $30 at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, about with tax. But I use my Barnes & Noble card, so I got 10%. I love that. Um, anyway, so yeah. 
how are you guys doing? Um, I've noticed a lot of your comments and I will be doing another viewer discussion. So if you'd like to be a part of that, leave questions or comments or topics below and I will be happy to respond to them in the next video, which will be a viewer discussion. And I love you guys. I missed you guys. I've been so busy with school and work and wedding stuff. It's getting a little bit crazy around here and it's only gonna get busier. But can I just say real quick that um, I went to Hallmark this week and they had an entire shelf full of Wizard of Oz home goods. I think somebody actually pointed them out to me and I found them in the store and I'm so excited to go out and buy them for the new house, um, which you guys will get to see soon. Um, we don't have it yet, but it's coming. Um, so when we get the new place, we're going to adorn it with Wizard of Oz stuff. Now the thing is, we're probably going to be in a one bedroom apartment and the collection, most of it is going to have to stay here but I would be happy to keep doing these vlogs post-wedding to come back to the room or bring as much as I can with me to the apartment and do it from there. Um, but yeah, so guys, Hallmark has amazing home goods. Wine holders, um, coasters, things like that. Great things for your kitchen. Go ahead and check it out. And I love you guys. Don't forget to leave me comments and give me the thumbs up if you want to see more. Bye, guys!